What's up guys? Today I'm going to give you an update on my 350Z. Last time you saw this thing it was LS swapped and running and now it's been sitting and neglecting and looks pretty bad. So give you a quick look at this and then I'm going to show you what we got going on. But yeah, like I was saying, this thing has been neglected. It's in pretty rough shape, so just check it out. There's absolutely nothing in the engine bay. Like I said, I took the LS1 out of this and put it into the Montego RX-7. And then the game plan was just to, you know, find another LS for this thing. Yeah, it is definitely in pretty rough shape there's no real reason to pop the back hatch because there's nothing back here but let's see if let's see if it'll actually pop up huh. pretty easy this sad this car was like had a nice black interior it was like really clean shameful mm -hmm. Of course, the hatch isn't going to stay up. But some of you might remember this car. It's where I took um, a crash 350Z and I bought one that's been parted out with a bad engine. Switched everything over and got the white car running. So, took it a couple of drift vents, had some fun with it. I used it for daily for a very long time. And I don't know, I just kind of got bored with it and decided to LS swap it. Sold the engine transmission out of it and then got it pretty much complete and then backed out because I wanted to uh, put the LS1 and T56 into that RX7 so I could put an LS3 into the white RX7. <laughs> but I'm missing my Z bad. I'm getting like reminders on like Facebook and stuff about going to drift vents and like it's it sucks. So I think I got a plan. Like I said, I bought another 350Z that was LS swap. It was like really shady done. So. We're not going LS. This is what we got going on right here. I picked up a wrecked HR 350Z. And this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna HR swap my car. This thing is this thing is, was a really nice car. So it's, it's kind of a, a bummer. I'm glad my man's okay. But Got some wheels, got some big old brakes on it. This side of the car looks gorgeous. Like, it looks good, look good, looks good. Eh, not so much. But the real prize is over here. Like I said, I'm glad, you know, it sucks that this happens because I know this must have been, you know, bad for the guy. He hydroplaned on the highway, you know, got sideways and someone T-boned him. But he was pretty lucky. I mean, that's pretty gnarly hit I said you can't even open the door it's it's crushed but this was a really clean car I think it only has like 90,000 miles on it come across the back so it looks like a looks like it was a well taken care of car got a little harness bar back there this is like a bunch of bag, like bag of like the stuff that was on it, like a Tomei um, exhaust, which is kind of, kind of ruined. I might try to fix that and save it. So it's kind of a bummer. I haven't went through those bags, but we'll we'll get to that. But yeah. So the game plan is, is I'm going to finish stripping the white car like totally down to where it's just a bare shell. So once I get it stripped down, I'm going to paint the car because no sense to put it together and have it look all like crap. And then take everything off the crashed HR car and just make my white 350Z whole again. <laughs> so, which is going to look pretty good. It's going to have, you know, wheels and like the bigger brakes. I forgot what they call them, but anyway. Yeah, I don't even care. I just want my car together. Yeah, it's going to be like the way it was when I enjoyed the car. It'll be full interior, you know, everything work, AC, heat, all that good stuff because you need it. 
but yeah this thing <laughs> looks horrible holy cow but yeah that's the game plan guys enough of me rambling in the next couple of videos like I said, i'll start stripping the white car down um you might play around this and just see if i can get it running the way it is right now i'm pretty confident that it's going to run and run fine but i guess of course the whole front of the car has got to be replaced gotta get a the headlight brackets core support radiator but anyway i just figured this would be a better option than just ls swapping my car and like not having you know heat and ac or spending a lot of money to make that stuff work so this is a better option but all right guys that's enough of me rambling see you on the next one Okay guys, we're in the Z. We got it run. Let me do that. Okay guys, we're in the Z. We got it running. Maybe not. Hold on. Battery cable. <laughs>